Stan Gibalisco here, proprietor and operator of amateur radio station W1GV, Whiskey One Good Vibrations. Yesterday I made a video about what might happen to radio signals, especially at the HF part of the spectrum, high frequencies or shortwave part of the spectrum, in the atmosphere of Jupiter where electromagnetic disturbances are abundant. Of course, we won't know until we go there, but there are other planets such as Mars. Uh, Pluto is a good example, I think. Uh, and the Moon is an excellent example. All of these celestial objects or planetoids or planets have no ionosphere whatsoever, or such a minimal one that radio wave propagation is all but impossible by means of such, uh, uh, such an ionosphere, because it doesn't exist. And I, I started thinking, daydreaming again, how would radio hams communicate, for example, on the moon, if uh, one radio ham station was on at the lunar north pole and the other at the lunar south pole, how could they communicate by radio? And the answer is probably only by means of artificial satellites placed in orbit specifically for that purpose, or possibly earthbound uh, communications where signals bounce off of the Earth's uh, surface and ionosphere and come back to the moon, sort of the opposite of moon bounce. But there's another mode that didn't even occur to me until I did a little internet research, and that is audio ground wave propagation. Radio hams or anyone else could send sound waves in effect. Audio frequency waves would work best, doubtless. And the lower the frequency, the better, I suppose, but it, even in the audible range. Audio frequency uh, wave propagation, you could propagate the waves right through the planet. Then electrical conductivity of the surface would no longer be a factor. You could even do it on an asteroid, a, a small uh, asteroid, the smaller the better means for radio hams to communicate when there is no ionosphere present and even the surface conductivity is so bad that a ground wave or surface wave for an electromagnetic field is out of the question. You can use sound waves or acoustic waves instead. Never even occurred to me until just now acoustic wave propagation or subsurface acoustic wave propagation. I'm not sure what to call it yet. I'll have to wait until I decide on a title for this video. But think about it. It's kind of a neat idea. How would you make a transponder that would couple the audio frequency signal to the surface of the planet? Well, that might be a topic for another video, but your thoughts on the uh, topic are welcome at W1GV. Stan Gibalisco saying 73 and so long, which, even at audio frequencies, always translates to da-da-da-da-da-da in my native fist.